Um, each morning I wake up, I pray for him and pray for um, just that he'll grow to love the Lord. And being on the worship team when I'm practicing at home, he uh, I'll sing to him a lot and just he smiles and um, it's just awesome to see him um, enjoying the music and um, you know praying for him and just making sure that he grows to be a um, godly little man when he gets older. Big thing with him is he's, he's just he's really smart and just really really observant, almost really overly observant and. Uh, <laughs> sees everything, notices everything, and this is our, our chance to make a stance and say we're going to, you know, have a godly influence in his life, and uh, we want him to grow up to know Jesus, and we want him to grow up to be a godly child, so we're going to make sure we do our part and keep regular activity in his life for that, and then hopefully when the time comes that he'll accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and, and get baptized. After we got married, you know, we waited several years before we tried, um, and when we wanted to start a family, it took us several years, and uh, we finally, in March of last year, uh, I got pregnant, but we actually lost that one, and then two months later, we got pregnant again with Easton, so he's like our miracle baby and um, our, our gift from God. So. Uh, we're just really blessed that we have him in our life and as far as church family you know we have our connect group and love every one of them and they've been awesome to us through this whole process but just um, as a church family just pray that we can raise him and bring him up the way that we should um, and guide him through different trials and tribulations that he may go through as he gets older but um, just to have in their support if we ever need you know advice or um, help of any kind that they're there to help us you know after just like with anything I think you know you get a little anxious to get your result and you quit asking yourself you know am I doing what's best you know am I listening to God and doing what's best for him in that journey and uh, I, I get I've always learned at the end of the journey it seems like you realize why you went through those trials yeah Devin and Allison are, are some of my dear friends. They're wonderful people, very uh, part of Centerpoint. Allison sings on our worship team. Devin's back in our tech team. And this, Ethan, is absolutely a miracle baby. I mean, we've prayed for him for, for a long time. And so to be able to stand here today and to dedicate him to the Lord is an absolutely honor and a blessing. So, Ethan, will you let me hold you? Yes, you will. Oh, you're so cute. Ah. Will y'all join me in praying? Father, we just want to come before you today. And Lord, we thank you so much for Easton's life. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for hearing our prayers. And Lord God, the life, um, the very um, air that he breathes, Lord, in his lungs is a miracle. And uh, Lord, we thank you for that. Lord, we just ask that you would place your hand upon him. That, Lord God, that he would um, follow you all the days of his life. That, Lord God, that as he grows up and, Lord, one day makes a decision to follow you, Lord, and make you Lord of his, your, his life. Lord, I pray that, Lord God, that you would um, watch over and protect him. Lord, I want to pray that you would uh, bless Allison and Devin. And Father, Lord God, that they would raise him, Lord, in the ways of God. And that, Lord God, that you would give them wisdom and give them direction. And I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You're good. Yes, you are. Can y'all give them a round of applause? Thank you, guys. Well, if you would... Would you stand with us this morning?